Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through architecture diagram of Bluetooth guys. Guys, this question is also one of the most important questions which is which is frequently seen in our, pre, in our previous question papers guys. Okay, so basically the architecture diagram of Bluetooth is also called as PicoNet guys. Okay, so basically in PicoNet, we will be having a primary system or the master system which will be sending data to the child systems or the slave systems this if it is his master will be calling them as slaves okay so the transfer of data will be only in one direction so that is nothing but the peak on it fine so now let us go through the definition and the theory so an architecture of bluetooth is also called as peak on it so peak on it offers the technology with the help with the help of which data transmission occurs between the master and slave master is nothing but the sender and Slave is nothing but the receiver. So find those blocks we will be calling as systems or nodes. So a master node is a node from which the data is being sent. And slave is a node from which the data for which the data is received. So all the data here will be transferring through ultra high frequency and short wavelength radio waves guys. Through which the data transmission occurs. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So Bluetooth architecture can be represented in two different ways. The first one is the PicoNet and the second is ScatterNet. Fine. ScatterNet. Fine. Okay. So the first step, let us go through the first step. Guys, it is nothing but PicoNet. So I told you, PicoNet means from a single device, we will be travel, tra you will be sending the data to multiple devices. So it is a Bluetooth network that consists of one primary, that is nothing but one master, and it can have a maximum of seven active secondary slaves or secondary nodes or slaves okay so it it can have totally eight active guys in that one will be the primary and seven will be the secondary okay so maximum number of nodes in the peak on it will be eight whereas the maximum number of devices will be two power eight minus one that is 256 like there they can be connected eight devices we can connect and the rest of devices can be in some other states like waiting about it like that fine okay so infinite number of state, state devices can wait so I hope everyone got a small idea on this. Okay, so if you take a small example, so this will be our master and these will be our slaves. Master, slaves. So master will be sending the information to different, different slaves, primary and secondary, fine? Okay, so here data transmission can only occur between the master and slave. Okay, and not between slave and master. So master can only send the data to slave, whereas a slave cannot send the data to slave or slave cannot send the data to master fine okay so if the connection of the master node gets disconnected the whole peak on it will be collapsed fine okay so if there is no master how will how will someone send the data guys that is the reason why we, we will be saying that the whole network will collapse fine okay so now let us go through scatter net so basically scatter net is nothing but the combination of few peak on will be calling it as scatter net okay a slave in one PicoNet can act as a master or primary in the other PicoNet. Fine. So if in one PicoNet he might be a slave, but he can give the data to some other systems. That is nothing but he can be the master and he can transfer the data to multiple slaves in some other PicoNet. So ScatterNet is nothing but the combination of PicoNets. Fine. So such a station or node can receive the data from the master from the first week on it and can send the data to the slaves working as a master to the second peak on it fine so that is what it written here so if you take a small example see here this system so this system is collecting is being a slave in this right and it became a master in this peak on it fine so i hope everyone got a small idea on this so in the next tutorial we will be going through connecting devices thank you thanks for watching